Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Eons of Battle, and today I'm going to show you how I paint Death Watch shoulder pads. These are the paints I'll be using. So I'm going to be batch painting these five shoulder pads, so I found a piece of sprue that's going to let me do that, and then I'm going to be using a little bit of poster tack to hold the shoulder pads in place. Having all the shoulder pads on one sprue like this is going to make airbrushing these a lot easier. I started out by priming the models with Vallejo uh, black paint. I find that black paint is a really good uh, color to start out with if you're going to be painting with metals. Then I did a base coat of Vallejo gunmetal. And I'm using an airbrush because specifically these Death Watch shoulder pads have a lot of detail in them and the airbrush is going to make sure that uh, the details don't get lost in the paint. And then once that base coat was dry, I went in with some Vallejo Silver. And then I gave them a coat with the silver. Once that was dry, I shaded all the shoulder pads with some Games Workshop Black Wash. And this is going to really help bring out all of the, the text in the inlay in these shoulder pads. Make sure that you don't go too heavy with the wash because you don't want it to pool and then uh, hide any of the details. And then I made sure to get the wash in the back of the shoulder pads as well. Once that wash had dried, I then began picking out the skull and crossbones that I'm going to be painting gold. And so to start out, I'm going to be base coating the skull and crossbones with Vallejo Leather Brown. This is going to help show up underneath the gold, and it's going to help me achieve a gold effect in fewer coats. So I very carefully just picked out the skull and crossbones on each shoulder pad. And then once I finished with the leather brown, I went in with some Games Workshop gold. And then I put that right over the leather brown. Now that I have the skull and crossbones pan gold, I'm going to be going back in with some Vallejo silver and I'm going to be using this as an accent color for the gold. This is going to help uh, make the gold look even more reflective and I'm going to be placing it mostly on the tip of each bone and on the forehead of the skull. And there you have it, five finished Death Watch shoulder pads. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, you can leave a comment if you have any ideas or techniques you'd like to see us do. You can follow us on Facebook at EOB Fans, and you can follow us on Twitter at Eons of Battle. Thanks for watching.